So everyone in the Democratic Party seems to think that Biden is doomed in November. Well, everyone except Joe Biden, Jill Biden, Hunter Biden. And during tonight's, well, press conference, big boy press conference, when Joe was asked about staying in the race, Biden claimed that nobody is saying that he can't win. Take a look. You earlier explained confidence in your vice president. Yes. If your team came back and showed you data that she would fare better against former President Donald Trump, would you reconsider your decision to stay in the race? No, unless they came back and said, there's no way you can win. Me. No one's saying that. No poll says that. <laughs> the whispering is weird, but we've been seeing that for years. Uh, according to reports, even his own campaign staff believes he has zero chance of winning and needs to drop out. Joining us with Reaction Project 21 Chairman Horace Cooper, along with New York Post columnist, Fox News contributor Miranda Devine, of course, who wrote the best-selling book, Laptop from Hell. All right, so, I mean, there's a dynamic going on here. Miranda, I, I used to talk about Joe Biden and night-night stories and warm milky, and I had sippy cups, presidential sippy cups made up, and but they're actually in very high demand if I was ever to sell them. And... <laughs> It, you know, and I talked about elder abuse long before Michael Moore ever did. And, you know, honestly, you know, I got a lot of people, a lot of critics pounding away at me for doing it. I don't think I was wrong, but you seem to understand this family dynamic as well as anybody. What's going on with the family? Well, look, I think that um, it'll boil down to what's best for Hunter Biden. Honestly, I think that's the case. Um, uh, Hunter Biden is the most powerful person in Joe Biden's ear at the moment. And if he believes that it's better for him that Joe steps aside, then Joe will step aside. If he believes the opposite, then I think Joe will continue to hang on. And look, Tonight, he, he, you know, will live to fight another day. And we're just back to the old pre-debate Joe Biden, who's not great at all, as you pointed out, every single night. Um, and as I pointed out in various columns. Uh, but those same people in the media and in the Democratic Party who lied to us and attacked you and the New York Post for pointing out Joe Biden's infirmities, um, they now don't have a leg to stand on because this is the same Joe Biden that they were defending before the debate. Um, so you can just hear the gnashing of teeth from George Clooney and David Axelrod and Barack Obama. And by the way, um, you know, Joe Biden and his family don't have fond feelings towards the Obama people. Uh, I, I know that Hunter Biden felt that uh, Obama disrespected his father uh, when he was vice president. They were sort of laughing at him behind his back, and he didn't like that. And so uh, I, I, I just feel that there's resentment that Obama, as we heard tonight, has been liaising with Nancy Pelosi and pulling the strings to get rid of Joe. Sounds like he's trying to pull off a coup. Never underestimate Horace uh, Joe's ability to <laughs> F things up. Barack Obama said that. Well, a couple things here. One is I'm not so sure that all of the comments were made behind uh, the vice president's back. Uh, there are some insiders that say that these things were said directly to him, that the disrespect was pretty clear. One of the things that's been revealed is that I think we can push to the side this notion that it's been Barack Obama all along pulling the strings for public policy in America. The fact of the matter is, I think there's a reason why Barack Obama didn't endorse him in 2020, asked him not to run in 2016, and even after he's the incumbent president, waited until he had wrapped up the nomination before he would endorse him. The two people actually don't like each other. This election is, was supposed to be turning on policy. It looks like it's going to turn on personality. When I was in elementary school, there was a president. He ruined the economy. He weakened us internationally. 
and he had a brother who grifted to the tune of $220,000. This is yeah. repeating itself except for one change. We got a president that doesn't have the mental sharpness that Jimmy Carter did. Well said, Horace Cooper, Miranda Devine. Thank you.